Did you know that the very rocks beneath your feet are constantly changing? That's right. Rocks are part of an incredible life cycle that can take millions of years, transforming them from one type to another through powerful natural forces. Whether you're standing on a mountain peak or walking along a sandy beach, the rocks around you are part of this ongoing process that's continuously reshaping the surface of our planet. In today's video, we're exploring the fascinating life cycle of rocks in one of nature's most incredible stories of transformation and endurance. Let's jump right in. So what exactly is the rock cycle? Well, imagine it like this. Just as a tree goes through a cycle of growth, death and regrowth, rocks also go through their own cycle of formation, breakdown and reformation. This constant cycle transforms them into three main types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. And this rock cycle is driven by two main forces, heat and pressure from within the earth, and weathering and erosion at the surface. Together, these forces keep rocks in a state of continual transformation. But let's break it down step by step. The cycle begins with igneous rocks, which form from molten magma that cools and solidifies. There are two main types of igneous rocks, intrusive and extrusive. Intrusive igneous rocks form when magma cools beneath the Earth's surface. Since the cooling process is slow, it allows large crystals to form. A great example of this is granite, which makes up the core of many mountain ranges. Extrusive igneous rocks, on the other hand, form when magma erupts onto the surface as lava and it cools quickly. This rapid cooling results in small crystals, or even a glassy texture. Examples include basalt, which you'll find in volcanic islands and ocean floors, and obsidian and natural glass formed from volcanic lava. These igneous rocks form the foundation of the Earth's crust. Every continent, every ocean floor has a base made of this type of rock, but the story doesn't end here. Igneous rocks don't stay as they are forever. Over time, these igneous rocks are broken down by weathering and erosion. Wind, water, ice, or even the roots of plants break the rocks into smaller particles like sand, silt, and clay. These small fragments are then transported by rivers or the wind, often settling in layers on the ocean floor or along riverbeds. This process leads to the formation of sedimentary rocks. As the layers of sediment build up, the weight of the layers above compress the particles below, and with enough pressure, they become solid rock. This process, known as lithification, forms rocks like sandstone, limestone, and shale. Sedimentary rocks often contain fossils, which make them an important record of the Earth's ancient past. But what happens when these sedimentary rocks get buried deep underground? This is where things get even more interesting. When rocks are subjected to extreme heat and pressure, they transform into metamorphic rocks. Imagine a rock being squeezed and heated until its minerals recrystallize, forming a new, harder rock. For example, limestone can transform into marble, and shale can turn into slate. Metamorphic rocks often have a unique foliated appearance, with layers or bands of minerals to show how they've been shaped by intense geological forces. Now let's take this a step further. If the heat and pressure continue to build, metamorphic rocks can melt and turn into magma once again. When this molten rock eventually cools, we're back to the beginning of the cycle with the formation of new igneous rocks. This cycle can take millions of years, but it's constantly happening beneath the Earth's surface. So to recap, the rock cycle is a never-ending process. Rocks start as igneous, break down to form sedimentary, and are transformed into metamorphic under heat and pressure. Eventually, they may melt back into magma and the cycle begins again. Now that you know all about the life cycle of rocks, what's the most interesting rock you've ever found? Share your story in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about geology and the amazing processes that shape our planet, check out my other videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.